so today is my 50th day traveling and I want to go over my finances. I have been traveling for only $7 a day and I think that most people think that's impossible, crazy, ridiculous, but really it's very possible and I've not been stingy or frugal. In fact, I've been eating so well and I've been having so much fun and I I just want more people to know that they can travel for only $7 a day. Traveling is using Workaway. Workaway is similar to HelpX or Woofing, but it's cheaper and it's much more varied. So Woofing is about going to work on a farm in another country and getting a free place to stay and food in exchange for it. And HelpX is also varied. You can work on a farm or you can help out in a house. You can work in a hostel, you can help at a bed and breakfast. So it's, it's varied, but you also have to pay for every country that you want to travel to. For Workaway, it's $30 for membership in all countries. So it doesn't matter where you want to travel to, you just pay the $30 and you can pretty much just go wherever you want to go. I started in France and at the end of June, I traveled to France and I stayed on a vineyard where I was helping take care of 12 rescue dogs, helping to clean chateaus because the people who I stayed with managed rental properties in the area. Little things like cleaning the house, helping prepare dinner, and uh, doing some yard work, some gardening. Um, so it was, it was quite varied, which is good because I never felt like I was just really bored out of my mind. Now I'm in Spain where I am helping to teach English to two uh, ten-year-olds. So Workaway provides these opportunities to work in other countries across the globe and uh, you can find them using www.workaway.info which I'll also link below in the description. You don't have to pay for your food or where you're staying while you're there. So. The only other expenses come from traveling between one place and another and your own choice to spend. If you want to go out to dinner or something, then that's your choice so you can go and spend money on that. But if you don't, then it'll be provided for you. You know, I'm fine sleeping on a comfortable bed and getting fed proper meals and that's more than what I've been receiving. I've been treated like a guest like a guest in a house and also invited in as part of a family. So it's, it's really a great experience and it saves you so much money. So I want to go over the money that I've spent so far. So I left America on June 26th and then I left France on July 31st. So for those 34 days in France, I spent $103.53. For 35 days in France. And that includes $60 I took out of the ATM on my first day in there. It includes a train ticket, includes a bus ride, and uh, food at the airport. Um, it includes all of the initial travel expenses without including my first flight. So, buses and um, trains. Then, I spent one week not at a workaway. I traveled to San Sebastian for two days, and then I traveled to Madrid for three days, over which I spent, I did spend a lot of money in Madrid. I spent $179.29 during that week. That includes buses, uh, I think it was about $65 worth of bus tickets from France, to San Sebastian, to Madrid, and then to the place I'm staying in Vidigudino. 
in Madrid, I spent money on going out to dinner, going to some bars, um, I got some groceries, and I, I mean, I had a lot of fun. I had a really great time. So since the beginning of August, um, I've spent another $72.18. This includes an ATM withdrawal um, of $60 in 60 euros. So I've not yet spent those, but I'm counting them as spent because I already withdrew it. And a trip to a nearby city. So I went to Salamanca, Spain, and I had some tapas, I had some beer, some sangria, and then I also had to pay for the bus ride. So that was $12. <laughs> but it's, it's not very expensive either if you, if you travel correctly. I mean, I'm not going to buy a $15 lunch when I go to Salamanca, instead I'm gonna find a place that has 40 cent beer, drink that, and then enjoy some $2, $3 tapas. All that comes to since June 26th, and until today, August 15th, it's been 50 days, and I have spent $355, exactly. Now that's 50 days, so that comes to $7.10 per day. So I've been traveling for 50 days on $7.10 per day. And I've not been stingy, I've not been frugal, I've not been um, refusing to experience the places I'm in, I've not been bored or uncomfortable. I've been eating very well. I've been accommodated for completely and I have only been spending $7.10 each day. Workaway is really an amazing opportunity. That's how I've been doing it and I plan on continuing to use Workaway throughout my travels. I really hope I've given you some insight on traveling on a budget and not missing out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more about my adventures around Europe, then be sure to subscribe because there are a lot more videos coming out to you. Not very good. Yeah.